Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome everybody back to another video and starting the week off with a collection update. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, I got a couple CDs this week. I found a few at uh, Goodwill. First up we have Kiss Alive 3. Now I do have the, uh, the Kiss Alive set where it had the first three and then what was, what ended up being, um, Kiss Alive, the Millennium Concert. Um, I do have that set, but this is actually the original release of Kiss Alive 3, which is pretty cool. The uh, the collection set actually has a bonus track. Uh, this one doesn't, but um, I do love this era of Kiss very much, the Revenge era. And, um, you know, definitely wanted to... I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to pick that up. Yeah. Um, speaking of Revenge errors, one, two three there's only three songs that are represented from that album on here but uh the rest is all classic kiss so there you go but yep yeah, alive three then i got a couple motley crew cds first up i got take the tape off there uh too fast for love and this is the uh crucial crew re-release so when motley crew got the rights back to all their albums uh, this is one of the ones that they re well, I mean, they re released all of them, but this was from that release. So, on here, you do have the complete album, and then there is one, two, three, four. There's five bonus tracks, uh, two are unreleased. There is a alternate intro for, or three, excuse me, three are unreleased, and then, um, there's a alternate intro for, uh, too fast for love. The uh, the first single they put out, which was "Stick to Your Guns" and "Toast of the Town," those two songs are on here. And then there's a live version of "Merry Go Round." And then also, this is the old. It doesn't say it on the front. Damn it! It says it on the back. It is an enhanced CD, so if you put it in your computer, uh, it, it, you'll get a video, and the, it's the music video for Live Wire. So there you go. Um, I do remember the enhanced CDs being a big deal back in the back in the late '90s and the early 2000s, um, because you could get like the music videos to different songs or whatever. Like I have a couple of the Iron Maiden re-releases from that time, and they have like live performances and stuff. Um, again, I remember when that was a big deal, the enhanced CD. Now. It's kind of archaic, but, you know, it was it was pretty cool for back in the day. And then the other Motley Crue CD I got, what is with all the people don't take the tape off? I don't get that. Um, sorry, I'm a little distracted. Whatever, I'll get it later. Uh, this is the 20th Century Masters Millennium Collection Best of Motley Crue. This was the... You would see these at Walmart all the time, really cheap, just to be like a 10 or 12 song uh, compilation. But what's cool about this is it has, you know, some of the hits, Shout Out the Devil, Home Sweet Home, Girls, 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 Kickstart My Heart. Um, but it also has a lot of uh, lesser known songs like PC Your Actions on here, Too Young to Fall in Love, which was kind of well known. Um, all in the name of Rock and Roll Junkies on here, Anarchy in the UK, uh, Hooligans Holiday, which is one of the John Karabi songs. So, yeah, there's some interesting stuff on here, which is why I picked it up. Um, again, you know, I have a few of these 20th Century Masters. Um, you know, they were just really cheap compilations that were put out. Again, you get these at Walmart for like less than 10 bucks. <laughs> When Universal Music absorbed all those companies, that's what they would do. They would release, you know, all the uh, the top bands like that. They would release a cheap compilation. Um, next up, uh, I'll do VHS first. I did get a bunch of VHS uh, today. I went back to the video store and grabbed some. And then I also got uh, one in the mail. On the Actually, a couple in the mail. And the rest were like Goodwill finds. First up, I got... The uh, the Shadow, a Sneak Peek Sweepstakes VHS. So I'm assuming uh, this was sent out to video retailers back in the day um, when the movie came out on video uh, on here. 
But what's weird is it says uh, sale, rental, or in-store play prohibited. Um, so I don't know. I guess this was just something that the distributors watched on their own time or whatever. I guess they couldn't play it in the stores. Um, you know, but, well, I mean, it says prohibited, so I don't know. If it said not prohibited, they wouldn't be allowed to, but I don't know. Um, I really don't know about this one because you couldn't sell these kind of things back in the day. I don't know. But on here, um, you know, it just says, uh, the, this reel contains the full-length theatrical trailer of the movie, promotional clips from the film, details on the sweepstakes and pre-packed promotion, and the full-length tailored name music video for the song Original Sin, which was featured in the end credits of the movie. Um, but on here it says, uh, inside this sleeve you will find an insert containing a postage pays business reply card. Complete the card answering the three questions asked at the conclusion of the video. And drop the card in the mail. Everyone who mails in a card will receive a replica of the Shadow's ruby ring. So the ring he wore in the movie. From all the cards returned, a random drawing will produce one lucky retailer who will win a hat, scarf, and cape worn by Alec Baldwin in the Shadow. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, You know, the Shadow was very popular on video and cable and everything. Just not when it was in theaters. Because it came out. I think the week after Lion King and then the the second week the movie was out, Forrest Gump came out. So it got caught in that, um, you know, that kind of bad timing. You know, that's what I meant to say. It had bad timing when it came out in theaters. Uh, but, excuse me, over the years, and that's how I discovered it was VHS, um, you know, the movie's become very popular in the home video and cable and everything. So I guess, you know, this was sent out to kind of, you know, peak up interest for people to get the VHS and also incentives, you know, to win stuff from the movie. I wonder who actually won the uh, the Shadows costume. That would be cool, you know, to find out. But, yep, there's that. I know that was kind of long-winded. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, you know, get coherent with this. Next up, we have Dragonflies, The Legend Begins. I do remember this show as a kid, and I remember renting this VHS from, like, Blockbuster and stuff. But I do remember watching Dragonflies. It was interesting. It was it was very different from the majority of the shows that were on at the time. But it was a very uh, cool show, and I, you know, I did enjoy watching it back then, and I look forward to checking this out. Now, unfortunately... This is the only uh, home video that came out in the United States. There was one, I just think one other, that came out in Canada. But it's easy to find on eBay and stuff like that. But the good thing is this show is actually completely available for free here on YouTube. So if you want to go check it out, all the episodes are on there. So hey, why not? But I saw this at Goodwill and I was like, oh cool, I remember Dragonflies. So I was like, why not, you know? Um, next up, this was another uh, Goodwill find. It is Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, which this is actually my favorite of the series. I do like the, the two sequels, but this one I enjoyed the most. Um, and yeah, I found it on VHS. This VHS came out in 2005, which was the uh, last, the end of the VHS era. So I saw it at the at the Goodwill, and I was like, oh, cool, a movie that I enjoy a, a later you know, uh, VHS title, I figured, why not? Why not pick it up? Now, this is the R-rated version. Um, it is not the unrated version, but I do have that on DVD, so it's not a big deal. Because sometimes, back in the day, you know, with VHS, they would release the rated version and then the unrated version. Um, I guess at that point, you know, 2005, people were, uh, were more into getting DVDs and, and upgrading everything from VHS, so they just put out the regular version on VHS. I don't think they ever put out the the unrated version for that movie. Yeah, because at that point, 2005, you know, people were, uh, were more into DVD. And then 2006, Blu-ray came out, so there you go. All right, next up, got some Beavis and Butthead. First up, this is a screener of the movie Beavis and Butthead Do America. I've seen this on eBay a couple times. I just always missed it, but this was in a lot 
and I I got it really cheap. I only paid like ten bucks for the whole lot. So I figured just to grab a screener copy of the movie, why not? You know. And then this one is uh, Troubled Youth. I actually already have this one, but it's a former rental and the box is all cut up. This is actually in really nice shape. It's still very glossy and everything. So I'm assuming that this was either either never watched or watched once and then just kept in very delicate shape. Um, so I am going to hold on to this one because the box is completely intact. And then uh, whenever I get to my VHS and stuff in storage, I'll just grab that one and take it to Goodwill or something. But yeah, I like to get them, in, especially like the Beavis and Butthead with the really cool artwork and stuff. I like to get the boxes completely intact and in good shape. All right, uh, these two I got yesterday because uh, where I work, there's, a, I mean, I work not where I live, you know, um, but there's a Goodwill right near I work. So I figured, you know, one day a week when I'm in that, when I'm after work in that area, might as well stop at Goodwill and, you know, grab some stuff, you know. So first up, I got Double Team with Jean-Claude Van Damme, a very fun movie, which you will actually see the Blu-ray of this later, but uh, I found it on VHS as well. I do have a screener copy of it, but I wanted to get the actual VHS. Now, what's really cool about I, the screener copy is this was the front and then on the back, Instead of Dennis Rodman being in the back, it's in the front, which they didn't do it for this release, but uh, still pretty cool. You know, there's the back there. And then, you know, the spine, you get Dennis Rodman on one side, Van Damme on the other side. So there you go. But very fun movie. And then I got Bird on a Wire, a Mel Gibson film that I really enjoy. Also, of course, with Goldie Hawn. Um, I had to burp. There we go. Um, I didn't want to burp into the camera. But um, I wish this would get on a uh, Blu-ray. Very fun, underrated movie. You really don't hear people talk about this one. But a very fun movie. And now the rest are all the ones I found at the video store today. Uh, first up, I got the Spooktacular New Adventures of Casper. This one is uh, Spooky and Poil Meet the Monsters and Head, or excuse me, Dead of the Class. Um, and these episodes are from season two, so they're not on DVD. The first season uh, was released on DVD, and then that was it. They never put any more out. Uh, but I saw this today. I was like, oh, cool. And I wasn't sure uh, what the episodes were. But when I came home, I looked them up and found out that these episodes are not on DVD. So I figured, cool, I'll grab it. Uh, there's a few more of these out there. I just need to see what episodes are available, and I, I will grab. Uh, most of them. And then, you know, he gets to meet the old Universal Monsters on there, so that's pretty cool. But there is um, one, two, three, four, five. There's six different stories on here because this was one, one of those shows where they would do like multiple stories in an episode. So I guess each story is about 10 minutes or whatever, five to 10 minutes. So there you go. And again, this is based on the Casper movie from the 90s. So that's another reason why I want to check more of it out. Alright, <clears throat> so next up I got Menace to Society, a great urban, you know, gangsta movie that I, I really enjoyed. I saw it, uh, last time I watched it was a couple years ago, but I really enjoy it. Um, and I figured why not, you know, pick it up on VHS. Um, and this is the theatrical cut, the DVD I have is the director's cut or something. Uh, but this tape does have... An exclusive interview with the Hughes brothers, the director of it. So, yeah, pretty cool. But, yeah, great movie. Next up, I got Blue Streak with Martin Lawrence. I saw this in there, and I wasn't sure if I had it or not. So, that's why I didn't grab it the past couple times. But, uh, this time, I was like, all right, cool, I'll grab it. But, a very funny movie. Um, another one that I think is underrated, because I really don't hear people talk about uh, Blue Streak that much anymore, but I love this movie. Um, I would say it's probably my favorite Martin Lawrence movie, and uh, you know, just a very fun. I used to watch it all HBO and cable would run this all the time, so I would watch it, you know, pretty much any time it was on if I wasn't doing anything, and just really enjoy this movie. You know, haven't seen it in quite a while, 
Actually, I'll save that for a minute here. Yeah. Next up, I got Swingers. Great film. Uh, I used to have this on VHS long ago, but when I, you know, started getting more into the DVD side of things, I, you know, got rid of it. But I found it today. I was like, yeah, I'll definitely pick, pick that back up on VHS. A great movie. One that I really enjoy. So there we go. Next up, I got The Saint with Val Kilmer. Um, I actually really enjoyed this movie. Um, this is another one that HBO and Cinemax and, and Cable would, would run all the time back in the, the late 90s and early 2000s. And I, yeah, I used to watch this all, all the time back in the day. Um, I do have it on DVD. But I was like, you know what? I really like this film. I think it's a fun, underrated movie. And I didn't mind, you know, picking it up on VHS. Next, I got Amongst Friends, which is a crime gangster movie. Um, I saw it for the first time last year and really enjoyed it. And I don't mind having it on uh, VHS. So, there you go. There's some uh, recognizable faces in here. Um... This was Mira Sorvino, I think her first movie, Paul Sorvino's daughter, you know, um, and there's a couple other familiar people in this movie, but, you know, you never hear people talk about this one. This is definitely a hidden gem, um, but it is a movie I really enjoy, so, and there's a really good soundtrack, like Red Hot Chili Peppers is on the soundtrack and some other bands. Uh, next up, I got Constantine. With Keanu Reeves, yes, this, I didn't even know, but this actually got a VHS release, um, because this came out in 2005, and that, again, was the last year they did VHS, and I saw it on the shelf, I was like, oh, I'm definitely gonna grab that, you know, one of the last, probably, this was probably one of the last big movies to get a VHS release, um, but yeah, um, I haven't seen Constantine in quite a while. I definitely need to pick it. I think it's on Blu-ray. I definitely need to get it on Blu-ray. And uh, I just saw it today. It was, like, really excited. I was like, cool. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to pick it up. So, yeah, very fun movie. Um, I saw an interview recently where Keanu Reeves said he would like to do another Constantine movie. I don't think it'll happen, but I was, like, really happy to hear that. You know, I was like, oh, cool. You know, that would be really cool to see. Again, I don't think it's actually going to happen, but, you know, a guy can dream, right? All right, there we go. All right, next up, I got The Born Supremacy, which last time I got The Born Identity, I don't know why I didn't grab this one the last time, but, um, yeah. I, you know, the first three I really liked. I thought those were the best ones. I do like the other two, but I felt that the first three were a really good trilogy and, and the stories were really good. I just don't like all the shaky cam and the quick cutting and everything. But other than that, I do enjoy the uh, the Jason Bourne film. So I figured the first two were on VHS. Might as well pick them up. Next up, I got Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, which I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I remember when it came out. And I think the, week, the weekend that it came out on VHS, I remember... Uh, my uncle renting it and checking it out and really enjoying it. Still to this day, I really enjoyed this one. They had the second one, but they couldn't find the tape. Um, so one of these days, I'll I'll try to pick it up. But I do like the second one as well. But uh, I really enjoyed this one. And I think this is one of the better video game movies out there, to be honest. Um, and I don't mind having it on VHS. This is like when I could stand An Angelina Jolie. Now I really can't stand her. Um, as an actress or as a person, but, you know, I, I can sit through this movie. I like this one. It's a fun one. Next up, I got Bulletproof Monk with Chow Yun-Fat. Um, I know this movie does not get a lot of love, but, um, I saw it long ago and I don't really remember anything about it. And it was 50 cents, you know, so I figured if I don't like it, I didn't, I didn't like spend a fortune on it, you know. It, it was relatively cheap. Again, 50 cents. Uh, I'll be okay. Um, but yeah. So there we go. Bulletproof Monk, you know. And, I, and that's what I figure, you know. Because I'll go in there and I'll see a movie that I'm interested in that maybe I haven't seen or haven't seen in a long time. 
And I figured, you know what, for 50 cents, if I don't like it, it's not that big of a deal. And if I do like it, awesome, great, I'll keep it. Um, but it's really, you know, it's not that big of a gamble. You know, and that's the thing I love about, you know, going to video stores that are closing down or, or Goodwills or whatever, you know. You see it and, it, you know, check it out and you don't like it, it's not a big deal. Like, it's not really not that big of a deal. So there you go. Next up, I got Men at Work. Um, I actually just recently watched this again, and I haven't I hadn't seen this in forever. And I just forgot how funny this movie was. Um, I do have it on Blu-ray. It's in a double feature with um, what's uh, Easy Money with Rodney Dangerfield, and uh, two you know two great movies. It's a good double feature set. And uh, yeah, like I said, I hadn't seen this in forever, and you know. Again, I watched it recently and just forgot how funny it was. You know, it's a great movie. And now, finish, uh, finishing up, I got two Adam Sandler films. Uh, first up, I got Little Nicky, which is one that I really enjoy. Um, so I definitely don't mind, you know, picking up, you know, the older Adam Sandler movies when he actually gave a shit and made good movies. Not like, where should I go on vacation? Oh, I'll go film a movie here. You know, so... Yeah, stuff like Little Nicky. And this one, uh, Mr. Deeds, which I know uh, people were asking about this one in my last live stream. Um, yeah, I, I do think this is one of the better Adam Sandler films, one that one of his best ones, in my opinion. And yeah, I don't mind having it on VHS. You know, again, the, the older stuff, you know, um, so there you go. I think like the last... The last, like, really good one that he did, I think, was Grown Ups. And then after, I mean, of course, in between, there's going to be ones that aren't as good. That's just how it is. But I think Grown Ups was, like, the last really good Adam Sandler movie that at least I enjoyed. You know, there's been a couple a couple of the Netflix ones I liked. But I think, you know, quality-wise was, was the first Grown Ups. Grown Ups 2 I liked, but definitely was not as good as the first one. All right, and then, of course, DVD and Blu-ray are saving for last this time around. First up, I found this. This is a martial arts DVD. Um, this was shoved in with CDs because it's in a CD case. But it is the Total Bow Series Volume 3 with Mike Bernardo. Now, Mike Bernardo, is, uh, he was on the TV show WMAC Masters, which was this martial arts TV show in the mid-'90s, which had... All the stunt people from Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Mortal Kombat, all that kind of stuff. And they would play like these superhero martial arts fighters and they would like fight against each other and stuff. So Mike Bernardo was on that show. So I saw this and I saw it like from the spine and I'm like, oh, I know Mike Bernardo. So yeah, there's, I looked it up. There's two other DVDs in this set and they're not hard to come by. So I was like, why not? You know? Next up, I got Jackie Ass the Lost Tapes. I found this at Goodwill. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so the only Jackie Ass DVD I need is the first movie got a re-release, and I think it has more features and stuff like that. And plus, uh, the one that I have is in full screen because the movies were filmed in widescreen, so I want to uh, upgrade to that. But this was the other one that I needed. So, I mean, I have pretty much everything. The only thing is replacing the the first movie but i you know other than that i have everything i just i wish that this stuff would get a blu-ray release i mean i don't see why it would not be able to happen but i don't know oh well all right next up i got uh jackie chan adventures the demon portal saga this is actually the complete second season uh mill creek just put this out and uh very happy that uh, this got a release. I don't know why they didn't release the first season, though. Um, because Sony put out the majority... The, okay, Sony put out every episode of the first season except the last in a three-volume set. I do have one of those volumes. Um, I just ordered the second one, and I need to get the third one. Um, but I don't know why Mill Creek wouldn't re-release season one in a set i don't know maybe that's maybe this was like a test to see if people would buy it maybe they'll release another set down the road i don't know but i really enjoy this cartoon and i really wanted to get this so as soon as they announce it so very happy 
to get season two of Jackie Chan Adventures. Because I think there's five seasons, if I'm not mistaken. Four or five. So hopefully uh, the sales are strong enough to get the rest of the series put out on DVD. Um, I don't know, you know, why nobody would think that's a bad idea. Or Men in Black. I heard they were supposed to release Men in Black, the cartoon. But something happened to where they couldn't do it. Because um, the first season was released when Men in Black 3 came out. You would think that with this new movie, they would release it, but I guess not. Same with uh, Extreme Ghostbusters. You would think that in 2016, when the uh, fucking, that whatever movie piece of shit came out, you think they would release Extreme Ghostbusters on DVD. Maybe this new one that's coming out, they'll do it. I don't know, but... We'll see. Alright, next up I got... This is um, one of the last Lorenzo Lamas movies. I don't know why I didn't get this sooner. I kind of like forgot about this one. Um, but I grabbed it. It is Final Impact, which is a kickboxing movie. Also with uh, uh, Michael Wirth, which is another guy I do like. Um, he's in this movie as well. He's like Lamas' protege. So, it's kind of like Rocky Five. He, like, trains him and stuff. So, you know, I, I do remember watching this long ago. And I, I, like, again, I, like, forgot, like, oh, I need that one. And I just grabbed it. But uh, Gary Daniels is also in this as well. He's one of the opponents. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. And I got a couple, um, actually, got some, well, I'll save that. But I um, got a couple more Olivier Grunner films. Um, first up, I got... Interceptor Force, which I have the second one, so I grabbed the first one. Um, I really like the Interceptor Force movies. I used to watch them on the Sci-Fi Channel all the time, and for some reason, I don't know until now, I just decided to grab this one on DVD. I, I got the second one uh, a few years ago. I found it at an FYE really cheap, and this was cheap too. This was like less than 10 bucks online, so I figured why not. Um, but I do really like the Interceptor Force movies. They're they're fun popcorn science fiction films, so why not? And there's also a good cast in here because you also have Ernie Hudson, uh, Glenn Plummer from Speed, uh, William Zapka's in the movie, Brad Dorf. So there's a really good cast in this one. And the second one has some good cast members too. And then I got The Circuit 2. I have the first one and uh, decided to grab this. I thought like when I was in Colorado, I saw this at... I know I saw this somewhere, but I guess somebody bought it or whatever, and I just didn't get to it in time, but I finally uh, grabbed it online. So, um, uh, Jalal Mary's in this, who I like. He also directed the movie. Uh, Gary Hudson, who was in Roadhouse, he was in a bunch of other movies as well. He's in it. Um, and Lorenzo Lamas is actually in this movie, too. And Michael Blanks is the bad guy. I think he's Billy Blanks' brother. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of people in this movie and there is a third one in that series, but it never came out in America. Uh, I do have it on my computer. Um, but I think it got released in Australia or something like that. Um, but it, yeah, it never got a release in the United States for some reason. I did get another Jackie Chan. I forgot. Um, I got the first Operation Condor. Now this is the old, uh, Dimension release. I, I had the... Echo Bridge release, but the quality wasn't that that good on there. And plus, it was a double feature with the second movie, and I don't trust a lot of their. You know, if it's a if it's an individual release from them, it should be okay. But a lot of those multi movie sets, the quality is not good on on those. But um, and luckily it has the chapter insert as well. So I grabbed the first one. Um. Because I got the second one, I replaced it because I like the old Dimension DVDs. Because I remember, you know, renting these on VHS when they came out back in the day. You know, so this was my introduction to a lot of these Jackie Chan films. But, yeah, I wanted to get this release. Uh, Mill Creek, not Mill Creek, um, Echo Bridge did release a lot of those on Blu-ray. So I'd like to get those at some point, but I'll still keep the DVDs because it's Jackie Chan. Um you know, the only one that they didn't release on Blu-ray, I think, was by itself, was Project A Part 2. There is a four-pack which has that, but again, it's all, I think it's all on one disc, and I don't want to, you know, the thing is, like, they'll, you know, they'll do budget titles, but they won't do them the right way. 
And next up, last for the DVDs at least, I got Terminator 2, Judgment Day. This is the Ultimate Edition. Now, I thought that the two-disc set comes with a metal slipcover. I cannot find the two-disc with the metal slipcover cover anywhere. So I found this one. It has the regular slipcover. Um, so I figured just kind of deal with it, you know. Because um, I do have the single-disc edition, which is a flip disc. But I don't like that. I don't like a flip disc, um, you know, which has the metal slip cover. But I'll get rid of it. I don't really see the need to keep that because I like this better. Because on disc one, you get the movie and some features. And then disc two, you get the majority of the features. I like that better. And then, of course, it has the booklet as well. But, yeah, um, I do have it. The other, I do have another copy of this, but it's really damaged and stuff. So I'll, I'll trade that in. But this is nice, and it has the you know the slip cover. But I, I could have sworn that the two disc edition came with the metal slip cover, but I can't find it anywhere. So I guess I'm just you know imagining things or whatever. But yeah, this is good enough for now. Uh, the extreme edition had a metal slip cover, so I have that one. But I prefer the two disc edition because that's just the way that I like. It. I don't like the flip disc shit. I really don't. Um, so now the rest are, of course, Blu-ray. Uh, first up, I got Layer Cake, which is a, a really good crime drama with uh, none other than James Bond himself, Daniel Craig. Um, I remember hearing about this movie a couple years ago, and I picked it up on DVD, which now I can get rid of that DVD. And uh, yeah, just a really good crime drama. He plays a drug dealer who's trying to get out of the business and stuff. Um, but of course, as all these movies go it doesn't go that way you know but there's also a really good cast in here um Cole Meany is in it who was in Star Trek Deep Space Nine is uh O'Brien uh Sienna Miller is right there she's in it so yeah really good cast in this one then I got Braveheart uh this is the Sapphire series I guess that's Paramount's special edition line you know that they do for Blu-ray um there's a couple features from the DVD which didn't make it over to this, but um, I just ripped them to my hard drive, and I was like, okay, I'll just burn them on a disc, and there you go. So, there we go. Braveheart. And that's the thing. Like, you know, at this point in 2019, there's many ways to rip features and stuff from DVDs. So, that's what I'm doing. You know, if, if there's, you know... Uh, Depending, though, like the Scorpion King, none of the features from the DVD are on the Blu-ray. So that one I'm going to keep. But for most DVDs, if there's like one or two features that aren't on the Blu-ray, I'll just rip them to my hard drive and then burn them to a disc. And then that way I have hard copies. You know, that's just the way that I think. Because I'm just really trying to upgrade as much stuff as I have to Blu-ray. You know, that's just what I'm trying to do. So next up, I got... Uh, Braddock, Missing in Action 3, my favorite of the Missing in Action series, just finally decided to get this on Blu-ray. Uh, no features, unfortunately, on this one, but still, just to get my favorite Missing in Action film on Blu-ray, in widescreen, because the DVD was in full screen. Um, you know, and that's the poster, I really like that, but, yep, so now I have, I have most of the Chuck Norris stuff on Blu-ray, the only one, uh, that was released in America that I don't have is Breaker Breaker, but I can wait to get that. Next up, as I said, I got Double Team because Double Team finally got a, a individual Blu-ray release. There was a couple of Van Damme packs out there that Null Creek put out that had this, but I already had all the other movies that I wanted because most of them were the directed video ones that I didn't like. Um, and the other one was Universal Soldier The Return, but I do have that. But we finally got Double Team. And it comes, with, again, with the really cool VHS slipcover. I like how the tape is green. And then it's blue on the back. But this is really cool. And then um, you get the... That was one of the posters, and I really like that. And I think it's a reversible art, if I'm not mistaken. I think the reverse side is that. But that's that's pretty cool. I'll just leave it like that. You know, but again, I really enjoy this movie. Um, and I definitely can't wait to see what it looks like on Blu-ray. And next up, I got, of course, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. This just got a individual Blu-ray release. Uh, Turbo's coming out next month, so I'll grab that. But, yeah, just, I 
was so happy that, you know, and I, I knew that Shout Factory was going to put it out by itself. It was just a matter of when, but I'm glad uh, they waited about a year to do it. That was, I thought was a good time, but yeah, can't wait to see the movie in the Blu-ray quality. And then there's some, there's a new making of one here. So looking forward to hearing who's on that. So there we go. Next up, I got Major League. Great movie. Um, upgrading from the DVD. This has all the stuff from the DVD, but great movie. I wish Major League 2 would get a Blu-ray, but oh well. And then next, I got Law Abiding Citizen. Uh, again, upgrading from uh, DVD, but this has both versions of the movie on here and then a bunch of the features. So there you go. Um, I did have the Blockbuster DVD because... I bought it previously viewed. That one had a bonus feature that was only on that blockbuster edition about the prison that they shot the movie in, which I can't remember the name of the prison, but it's in Philadelphia. It's a pretty famous prison. Um, so I just ripped that from the DVD. So there you go. But great movie. And last but certainly not least, Three Amigos on Blu-ray, brand new, never opened. Um, so that's pretty cool. But a classic. And there's a bunch of features on here. There's deleted scenes. Um, there's an interview from back in the day. So, yeah, there's some, some stuff on here, which is a surprise. But very happy to find this on uh, Blu-ray. Very good movie. And that's it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this collection update. And uh, I'm going to try to get some videos out this week because I am working this week. But... Uh, I'll try to, to do some videos for you guys. Just need to figure out what. Because um, I know I've really just, past couple weeks, I've just been doing updates and live streams, which I know the live streams are going well. People have really liked them. So I'm definitely going to keep doing them. But, you know, I want to do some other videos as well. So until the next time, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care. And I'll talk to you guys later.